Hello, Trinity family. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're staying connected to your church family. If you're watching this video, I assume that you are, but I hope you're especially watching our live services on Sunday mornings and Sunday evenings. I hope you are finding a way to get together with your discipleship group, whether that's in the small uh, group, uh, keeping the social distance that we're supposed to keep, or you're joining in via Zoom, uh, we have a lot of ways that we can do this. Well, if you haven't been watching uh, my videos, they are a series. A pastor asked me to do some things on the family, and I had done uh, two videos uh, addressing husbands, and then uh, my last video, uh, the first addressing wives. And so this would be the second uh, for wives. Uh, what I have for wives today is practical ways that you can show love to your husband. These are practical. don't have a verse for each one of these things, but they're just some practical ways that you can show love to your husband. And for you men that are watching, um, most of these you can apply to you. They're practical ways that you can love your wife. For uh, younger people that aren't married, uh, these would be a help for you in the future, I would hope, uh, if you can remember these things. So I think I have seven ways, ladies, for you to show love to your husband. And the first one is to respect and compliment him and occasionally do that in public. You know, we've all known women who uh, often complain about their husbands and are free to do that in front of others. Well, uh, ladies, we know we're not perfect. Uh, we know we have plenty of faults. Uh, find something that you're grateful for about your husband and share that with him. Uh, but occasionally share that with others. Not only will that build him up, but it will bring your focus on his positive qualities rather than on his negative. Uh, we as people have that tendency I think that's part of our sin nature. We have a tendency to focus on the negative things, the things that bother us. Uh, while there are very positive qualities uh, that we could choose uh, to focus on. Number two, serve him in unexpected ways. How can you do that? Whether that's picking up something he needs from the store or making his favorite dinner occasionally. We guys like that. Uh, you can find something small uh, in which to serve your husband. And try asking yourself the question, what can I do to brighten his day? And then do that. Um, this, this verse is very applicable, uh, certainly for all relationships. But um, when I looked at this verse, I said, wow, this is certainly a verse that's very applicable for husbands and wives. Actually, two verses, Romans 12, 9 and 10. Let me read them to you. Uh, Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. In honor, giving preference to one another. Let your love be genuine. Love one another with a brotherly affection. And then that very last phrase uh, is also translated this way, outdo one another in showing honor. Uh, that's, that's an interesting phrase. Husband and wives uh, seek to outdo one another in showing each other honor. Acts of service don't have to be grand. They don't have to be expensive. In fact, isn't it often the little thoughtful things that go a big way. Number three, ladies, pray for your husband specifically. Set aside a few minutes a day to think about what his day is like uh, and pray for your husband. Pray for him specifically. Then let him know that you're praying for him. Knowing that you're praying for him specifically could be the exact encouragement he needs in a given day. Number four, greet him happily. For those of you who are dog lovers, 
How do you feel when the dog goes all crazy, wags his tail, treats you like you're his best friend in the world when you come home? Now, I'm not, I'm not comparing uh, the analogy here, dogs and women. Um, just trying to uh, illustrate for you uh, how a husband could feel when he comes home after a long day and you greet him as though you missed him and uh, you're looking forward to spending your time with him. Uh, greet him with a smile, with a hug, with a kiss um, after, seeing, after not seeing each other uh, after a long day. Uh, that'll certainly make him feel wanted and feel loved. And as I said before, uh, these practical ways work both ways. Uh, husbands, do this for your wives as well. Number five, ladies, make space and time for his interests, his hobbies, his sports. Does he love football or golf or riding his motorcycle? I put that one in for me. Make space for the things that he enjoys. Uh, let him have his time with the TV during his sports season. Now, guys, for you, uh, how about if we have one sports vice? Uh, I have a friend, he watches every season of every professional sport, and he watches all the college sports. And um, so he, he doesn't have a season, he's, he's going all year long and constantly following, constantly on the TV, uh, hogging the TV and that kind of thing. So for the ladies, guys, I'll say this, have, have one sports vice. So mine is NFL football, and I'm thankful for my wife uh, that lets me uh, watch that during the NFL football season. Uh, but ladies, you can encourage him in other ways. Just make space for the things that he enjoys. Encourage him uh, at times. Encourage him to go hunting with the guys. Uh, let him have his man space in the house, whether that's figuratively or literally. Creating space and time for his interests shows your husband that you appreciate who he is and who he is is also important to you. Number six, ask for advice and take it when you do. Most women need their husbands to listen to their stories about their day or about something that they're concerned about. Now, husbands, you need to know that often your wives just want you to listen without giving advice or passing judgment. But ladies, there are times when you should get his advice. And when you do, don't interrupt him with why his vice advice isn't valid. Uh, hear him out, uh, take his counsel. And if it is helpful, let him know how his advice worked out and that you are grateful for his help. Honoring him by treasuring his opinion can help your husband feel valued and respected. Number seven, Learn to go easy on him in the less important areas. Someone once defined marriage as two sinners living in close proximity. You know, before marriage, couples look through those rose-colored glasses and they tend to overlook each other's faults. It doesn't take long after marriage to get frustrated with each other's little idiosyncrasies. Don't get worked up about the little things or the minor things like the socks on the floor or the laundry that's not folded the way you like it. Uh, I say that one because when I was newly married, you know, I had a way of folding uh, some of my clothes and uh, Dana didn't do it that way. And boy, that bugged me. Cause I can be, uh, just ask her, I can be silly about things like that. Things have to be just a certain way. And uh, you know, I finally said, well, Rob, you're being stupid. <laughs> Uh, she's doing your wash, she's putting it in your dresser drawer. You should be thankful for that. Why are you worked up that she doesn't fold the things the way that you fold them? So uh, ladies, don't focus on those minor things. If something's really important to you, uh, share that with him. And husbands, you, you need to listen to those things. You know, my former pastor used to say, learn to be hard on yourself and easy on others. Well, that that's, would be a good concept to bring into marriage. And doing so will help you to treat your spouse better and to live with one another with kindness. 
I've said this throughout, whether it's uh, the relationship of parents to children, um, children to parents, husbands to wives, wives to husbands. Remember this. Remember, as God relates to you, so relate to one another. As God relates to you, ladies, so relate to your spouse. Well, I hope those practical things are helpful for you, and um, we love you, we miss you, and if there's any way we can help you, please let us know.